So Balram, we've been speaking about your how you've been brought up and what are your value systems like. But there was a point of time when your value systems were matched by a very different set of value systems by like, someone else. Like who else could it be? So your NID experience brought you like a lot of people into your life, but also one specific pers a person, right? Hmm. Padmini Tolat. What comes to your mind uh, when I say <laughs> that name? Yeah. It just happened. Hey, it just never happened. Please, you could have said that story 50 years, but now I think you should share a little bit more okay, about will, this I story. Will, I will tell you, and uh, this is nothing uh, very specific to it. happens always with anyone. Okay. See, I was teaching there. Okay. She was stood, I was teaching product design. Okay. Padmini was very much younger to me. Hmm. Padmini is nearly 14 years younger to me. Hmm. So I was a teacher there and she joined textile department, which is quite away from me. Hmm. So I don't teach textile design department. So I was not directly her teacher. But what happened was, I know I, I used to see her time to time, but there is nothing specific. Hmm. But what happened was, she has got a tremendous interest in research. Mm. <clears throat> and she took up, there is a book, Lothika Varadarajan, one uh, scholar. Yeah, so one again another Tamilian, but she is a brilliant scholar. She used to come to NID, she has been writing a book on South Indian traditions mm. of Kalamkari. And Kalamkari, as you know, is very Andhra. In South India, in Andhra Pradesh, Kalamkari is a well-known temple mm. cloth. Mm. Machli Patnam and Sri Kalasthi, the two places in Andhra Pradesh, they are known for it. And she is doing a research on it. And she used two girls as her research assistants. Mm. One of them is Padmani. Okay. Padmini is very enthusiastic and Padmini, when she does a thing, she does it very thorough. She is a very doer kind of person. She is, uh, she is not the reading and writing type, but she is a kind of doing type. Mm. So she went to Kalahasti, she went to Machli Patnam, she stayed with those uh, uh, craftsmen and she herself did whatever they are doing and all that, all that. And uh, yeah. And she came back to NID, put these things together and many of them are in Telugu. Hmm. Padmini doesn't know Telugu. That is when somebody suggested that, uh, you know, Balram is uh, in Telugu, he knows that language very well. I used to write stories in Telugu, in Telugu you know, yeah. so I'm more than just knowing the language. So that is when she came to me asking for uh, help in translating some of the Telugu scripts. Mm -hmm. Even on Kalamkari, the captions, Kalamkari is full of, say, Mahabharata, Ramayana, all these mythological yeah. stories. And there is a caption. That caption is written in Telugu. Mm -hmm. mm. And also the craftsmen spoke only Telugu. So she recorded them. Although she tried to learn Telugu, she learned a little bit of Telugu, but she wanted to have in-depth knowledge and some explanation. That is how I came to know. Mm -hmm. Earlier, she was one of the, some many to some hundreds of students. When she came together learning for this and knowing about it, that is when kind of we talked to each other and she impressed me with her kind of uh, sincerity and kind of her uh, honesty in dealing with things. By that time, I was already kind of touching 40. My mother every time used to tell me, hey, when are you gay? by the time my younger brother is already married, my sister is also married. I am the only one left in the three for my mother to be at peace. But she can't tell me because by that time she came to a stage, how can I tell him he is so educated, he is so this, so this. But whenever I go there, she used to keep on nudging me. Hey, beta, when are you getting married? Means, Naina, when are you getting married? So I keep on postponing. First I said, no, 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 I'm not going to get married. She uh -huh. was so shocked. Then I was a little softened. Why so? I will, I will marry later. 
all my brother got married at 21 or 22 till 40 i am not married she thought i will not get married only so yeah. she almost gave up hope at that time i was i came in touch with this girl at that time she was a girl padmini and she somehow got yeah <laughs> attract to me and uh, the rest is happened because what about her you said what you to ask her <laughs> <laughs> no i'm sure you know she would have told you i can you only would ask guess her also but this is not uh, padmini is why she married somebody some 14 years elder to her yeah there she should tell no yeah but it's I'm not just i am very happy to have <laughs> such a young girl <laughs> what is wrong but it's more than that right like once you guys would have decided to get married it's one is an age thing then you are also from like very different communities states culturally and value yeah, systems so course, how, did, how did how was that yeah when it came together it's not only age difference the language difference yes the caste difference like she is vaishya i am a farmer i am a kind of yeah um, farmers that is kapu kopala and all that and uh, she is from a state which is so far away she is from maharashtra she was born and she was she is a gujarati and uh, you know she doesn't know anything about uh, farming and uh, she is you know so so many things and also uh, the other thing i have to tackle is i don't want to marry someone against the will of my relatives my my mother particularly my mother my uncle all of them i can't uh, disassociate with them right? just because i have gone to yeah, so yeah. i am not that kind of person so how to convince them the most important person in the whole lot is my mother yeah how to convince so i was i was so shaking to put her once i have decided to marry by that time some good thoughts have prevailed on me earlier i was so stupid not to marry not to marry i said this individualism individualism is stupid <laughs> you need a company i realized a little late what made you realize that uh-huh. what made you realize that yeah so everybody should realize that i keep telling my son so today so if you need a company is better to get while you are still you know able to get and somehow i found this girl i don't want to lose her and also it is i will be very kind of uh, uh, grateful to her because normally if somebody is elder to you you don't even he call him uncle <laughs> <laughs> she didn't call me uncle why are you marrying me no she didn't she said i will marry so we talked about these things thoroughly before i yeah. took it to the yeah. elders she has to convince her father who is a very religious and a very social kind of person she has a huge community of gujaratis in bombay she has to convince them i said you take care of that i will take care of my side and the main person is main the most important others i don't care but my mother is important for me i can't disown her yeah. i don't want to disown her she and my sister my sister somehow i can convince her i am confident but my mother what to do so i went one fine day with a lot of tradition a lot of prayers to god help me <laughs> and uh, i was surprised in fact when i said this to my mother very quietly privately she looked at me and said one word go now go get married i said uh, do you mean it she said of course because she said only one word why why are you saying that i should go get married in so many differences she said forget all of them if you selected her i have confidence in my son and if he selected she must be good that's it she didn't even meet her she didn't even meet her no long long back i mean long long later she met who oh. but of course padmini is very clever she as a student <laughs> already came to my house at that time she didn't know that this you didn't even back. know uh, that she went to your house yeah She, wow. she went to my house she went to my she already you know so she knew she said i'm my student and uh, my sister was happy my 
my mother was happy and all that. She already tested waters. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and her father, she convinced me. Her father believes in another kind of thing. Na? She believes in horoscopes. He said, what is his horoscope? Huh. I gave different answers. <laughs> Which is? <laughs> Which is, you see, there is some confusion about my year. Is it 1943 or 1944? There is a big confusion because okay. it's a village, no records so are not kept. Huh. Okay. In Bombay, he has got exact time and date and everything. But in village, when somebody was born, when a cow gives birth to a calf, nobody keeps the date and time. Yeah. So they, with human beings also, they do the same way. <laughs> If my mother gave birth to me, nobody bothered about the time and date and all that. No, they don't bother. She is born, he is good, he is mother, is, mother is healthy, healthy and uh, child, he, is, child healthy. is healthy, that's all matters. And I didn't, I didn't uh, born, get born in a hospital. Yeah, it's at home. At home. In my own, my grandmother's first, first child is always is born. That is our custom, at your mother's place. So my mother's mother, that is my Amma, her place, that is another small village, some 45 kilometers from our village. There I was born through some midwife. Yeah. Midwife and my Amma herself gave birth there? to me. Yeah. In in their own small house. It is a small mud house. Yeah. So that's how I was born. And who bothers about time? They don't even have watches. <laughs> so, so I took advantage of that, and I date. They kind of somehow Rumba. got it, but exact time they can't. So somebody says it's 8.15 at night, somebody says it's 9.15 at night, there's a lot of difference. Yeah. And my father-in-law, Padmini's father is so important. No, 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 even seconds are important. Or it could it could mean life and death. I said even hours are not sure, they only know I was born at night. That's <laughs> all. Because they know it is night time because there was kerosene lamps and all that, there is no electricity. So they all remember it's night time, night time. and they would, with a kerosene lamp when he was born, they closed the door and that's how I was born. So I gave two years. <laughs> My idea is if he gets confused, it is better I will take the better one. Yeah, but how do you know which is the better one? <laughs> I don't even know, <laughs> but at least this is a chance. Huh. But anyway, finally he got it. Fortunately for me, the gods have helped me. There's nothing wrong with me. All that he wanted to know is, she is marrying the, an elderly guy, yeah. elderly guy, like her uncle. Naturally, and that is his only child. No? So they are so particular. The only child who was born after so many, so many years of going to so many temples and all that. Finally, she got out of difficulty. Uh, she was also, there's, that's a big story, Padmini has to tell you. But, so she's very precious to them. And he doesn't want to, naturally any father or mother will think that, that the guy whom she is getting married would not die <laughs> very quickly. No, naturally, no? Yeah, if yeah. you marry somebody 15 years, 14 years elder to you, even under normal circumstances, 14 years, before yeah. you, he dies, naturally, right? Yeah, natural law, even if it is... Yeah, true. Yeah, 100 years, everybody dies. So that is what, so naturally, he is, I understand his anxiety. He is only mainly worried about that. Okay. And they didn't bother about uh, how much property we have or how much hmm. uh, property they have, I never bothered because she is coming to my house, so why should I bother? So they were living, they don't even have a house. They were living in a chal for rent. Yeah. Chal is just one room. In one room house, they used to stay. Hmm. Hmm. They don't even have a bathroom and latrine. That will be outside, shared. Outside somewhere. I mean, this is how the chals are. Chal yeah. means just like one cubby hole. But instead of feeling very disgusted or very unhappy about their house. I started to admire her mother in a something like 10 feet by 10 feet room. That's all they have. She arranged the whole house. The kitchen is there and the living room is there. The dining room is there. All rooms are there in one room. This is amazing 
kind of organizing Space the course. Space management. Yeah. yeah, that's very How true. she managed it. Yeah. Yeah. And there, that is their bedroom, their, their uh, all rooms are there. Of course, for toilet and bathing, you have to go out. Like that. So, so I said, anyway, she is coming to our house, so I don't have to worry. And they don't, they didn't even bother about, because... They were okay with you being from a different state and in terms of all that, did her parents have any questions? Oh, fortunately, her father is a very progressive mind he has got. Uh, he acted no in wonder she went to a design that. college, no? Huh? No wonder she ended up no being in a design, ended up college. design college. Yeah. No? Because he's he's not rich man. All her other relatives are rich. He's a poor man, but he's got a value system intact. That's yeah. what attracted me because that has come to Padmini. So I kind of respected her for the values. Those are important. You see the skin and all that, no, skin will decay, your bones will decay. And they will go, but that is, that's not the real you. The real you is actually the value system you believe mm -hmm. in. In fact, when we went to get the blessings after the marriage, we go no, to the elders, you, Pagelagvanu they call it. Yeah. Pagelag means touching the feet. Yeah. To the elders, touching the feet and ask their blessings. One of their relatives, I don't give his name, he was so kind of straightly frank, he said, when I touched his feet to ask his blessings, he said, blessings are okay, but do you think your marriage will be compatible? Huh? We are, we are just married and one hour ago and asking your blessings, you are saying, do you, are you compatible? Won't you get, uh, get divorced in a few days? This is what he was telling. My goodness. I and how shocked. did you respond to that? Yeah, I, <laughs> He's an elderly man, I have to, after all, respect him, even if I'm hurt. I was hurt. And Padmini also must have hurt. So I said, time will tell. Because I, I don't want to give him a lecture, no? He's elderly. <laughs> because the values will never die. Yeah. The skin will die, the bones will die, the other things will die. Money will go, come and go. But the values won't die. And touch wood, now we are married for was. 82, 42 years into the marriage and there is no problem at all. Yeah. There is no problem. Yeah. We still love uh, now as much as we loved in the beginning. So what are some things that you have done? Like, or like you know, people say like, you know, make these grand gestures or like, you know, making small surprises. Um, oh. Could you recollect like something what that she did or you did? Surprises? Yeah, in 42 years of marriage, like one thing that Padmini did or uh, that you can never forget or you are like so surprised by the I gesture. said every day is a surprise to me. I Today know. is also a surprise. There are no separate surprises. <laughs> what about you? What have you... No, you are... Are you asking that... Are there things which impressed about her? Yeah, or, and uh, something, something that you something did as which? a... Like, you know... People do all do kinds anything. of celebrations. Nothing. <laughs> I didn't do anything. In I don't 42 know. years. <laughs> <laughs> you see, like that, I mean, many things you can say. Many things also. Yeah, something that comes say. to your memory. If you ask Padmini, she will say... So many things. Is it? The honeymoon. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Disaster. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why because is that? this is what happens when you read books and go to your place. Okay. We went to Amaravati. Oh. NID is thinking of today Amaravati, no? Yeah, yeah. They, in Andhra, people don't even know the A of Amaravati. <laughs> so many days back. How did you guys pick Amaravati? Because closer to... I read so many books, no, archaeology books and uh. all that. She is interested in archaeology, I was interested so in archaeology. So, that's a place to go. And museums and all that. No, it's, Amaravati is actually a Buddhist centre. Okay. In India, Buddhism has come in a big way. Yeah, Many people I think don't you're uh, they only digressing mention, from the uh, question. Uh, huh? You're talking about Amravati more than you're talking about your experience there. Yeah, I, I will talk about the my experience. So, I read so much about Amravati. Amravati is actually the great place. Hmm. There, there is a, it's a Buddhist center. I love Buddhism. Yeah, And uh, it's not only Bihar. It started in Bihar, but in Andhra it flourished of all the places in India. Bihar is one place where it started, Nalanda, and we all know about Nalanda and Tatshila, etc. 
in andhra it flourished nagarjun konda and next to that this place amravati mm. so i read so much about it i got so excited and i told padmini poor padmini at that time she is young now so i could always bully her <laughs> I, I, let's see what Padmini says. <laughs> yeah. So no, no. I I am accepting my guilt. <laughs> so with this bookish knowledge, I said, let's go there. Let us go to Amravati Padmini. It's wonderful place. When we went there, we found there is nothing. <laughs> All the big pieces have been shifted to Delhi Museum. museum. And, huh. So there, there is nothing. There is something like a museum, but there is hardly any. Yeah. All the yeah. good pieces have gone to Delhi. Yeah. And here there is only a big khada or some big uh, excavation. Yeah. That's it. And full of mosquitoes. Padmini used to hate it. That night we could sleep. Only are you? <laughs> Next to the river. Now the river is there, and uh, the big uh, digging is there. There is not even a proper place to sleep. There is no proper place to eat. There is no proper place to. We couldn't even. Uh, even we got finally some room. It's full of mosquitoes. We couldn't sleep. So what kind of honeymoon is that? <laughs> Padni will never, never forgive me for that. I accept it. What to do? It is my foolishness. Yeah. Yeah. So if you say Amravati honeymoon, Padni will be like that. <laughs> so yeah. uh, the, that is uh, that is what yeah. so but uh, but to give you some other things which uh, i should say surprises call it surprises call it kind of my discovery of each other um there are things which she admires in me and uh, if there is any message in this for people who are going to get married like you or people who are just married this is this First, I told you this is a value system which is important because yeah. values never die. Skin will die; it will weather off. Bones will die. Hair will get white, and all that. But the values are core, you know. They never change. So this is important. What one of the reasons why our uh, our uh, marriage lasted and it will last is that we realize this. and marriage also it's not adjustment marriage is a kind of complementary many people think marriage is an adjustment you have to adjust to that fellow and uh, you know that fellow will have to adjust to you that is slightly wrong way of looking at it it is the right way of looking at it is the marriage is a complementary yeah if you realize the complementary for example padmini loses her temper very fast very fast <laughs> like that i am very cool so it compensates na Yeah. When she is very cool, I will smile and I will say, "Cool down, <laughs> cool down." When I am too cool, then she will push, you know, some put Probably. some gas in me like that. Yeah. Yeah. So th- this is the way we complement each, each other, other and kind of yeah, whatever we do. Yeah. So that's what. And I am not. If he keeps annoyed about my being too cool and too this thing, or I keep. and now it about her being so losing her temper and all that then the marriage would have been broken no yeah, yeah. but if i read this see this is the difference between a complementary and competitory people normally look at each other as a competition then they should never get married but if you look at a person as the complementary then you should get married yeah yeah a boy and girl should not be the same no uh, boy should be different Girl should be different. They should complement each other. In India, in principle, no. That's sure. it. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of competition, you guys happen to be in the same profession, right? You're both designers, and it's not possible that you would have the same She's take on. She's textile designer. I'm product designer. Yeah, but at the core, the design yeah. is the same. So, yeah. how do you think? Are your ideologies or approaches very different? Is there an overlap? It is good. <laughs> I was telling in another forum speech. the new caste system is this if is the caste system earlier evolved based on your the work you do yeah. people who do farming are farmers yeah. people who do trading are traders 
people who do preaching and all that or preachers and brahmins like that people who do the uh, protecting you and all that they are kings and uh, that category but we should not still go about like that i am not a farmer because i am not farming anymore hmm. Hmm. so it is wrong to call me a farmer be- just because i was born i know many brahmins who are born as a brahmins but they don't do any sandhya vandana home and all those things yeah. and yeah. they are engineers so so the new caste system i'm suggesting is based on your work if i am a designer you are a designer we belong to the same caste so if i am a designer pranav is a designer and padmini is a designer and uh, saurabh is also a kind of designer with yeah. words then we belong to the caste of designers yeah so that is important that is the new caste system we should think yes yeah if you are liar 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 liars is one caste there is this a liar caste yeah so that is the right way of looking at it it makes sense also it makes sense because like the craftsman families are like that true the weavers everybody in this weaving family the father will weave the mother will weave the daughter will help them and that is how they learn so it will go into their genes yeah so the weavers family in the same way mine is a designer family so she is a designer i am a designer so it is a one family one one caste if if you put it in the caste terminology yeah. right yeah true yeah the other question that i want to ask is about how did marriage did marriage change anything As- especially like say you know um now it's not so prevalent anymore but when you guys got married women it was not very common for women to continue to work after marriage was it ever a discussion that came up before you got married or how how did you guys deal with that because she continued to work just like she did before right before she got married 